The protests have only grown now throughout the country. Take a look at how the public campaign has spread across India. Okay, we are coming to you with the visuals of the protests. Uh, the opposition to India's new citizenship law seems to be spreading to more and more cities. You can see since the time the protests have started, that we are getting reports of some casualties due to uh, police firing. And um, I do believe that the United States has issued a security alert for its citizens who are living in India. Uh, to keep a low pro profile and to avoid areas uh, with demonstrations and uh, protests. Section 144 has been imposed uh, in two major districts of uh, Uttar Pradesh, in Dhaka and uh, Najafgarh. And uh, in Lucknow, mobile internet and SMS services remain suspended until tomorrow. <laughs> India has witnessed a lot of protests on the issue of the Citizenship Amendment Act and the National Register of Citizens. And some protests were peaceful, but some became violent, which eventually led to destruction of public property. Many uh, protests uh, were also fueled by fiction masquerading as facts. Weon brings you a detailed report in which it differentiates between the facts and the fiction relating to NRC and CAA. CAA is a separate law. The NRC rules are yet to be formulated. NRC will... It doesn't come up on the... For all the religion, uh, citizenship decided uh, by birth, descent, registration, and naturalization. India witnessed a lot of protests on the issue of the Citizenship Amendment Act and the National Register of Citizens. Now, some protests were peaceful, but some did become violent, uh, which eventually led to destruction of public property. Many of the protests uh, were also fueled by fiction masquerading as facts. And Weon brings you a detailed report in which it differentiates between the facts and the fiction relating to the NRC. Now, the first question is uh, asked is whether the CAA is part of NRC. The answer is that the CAA is a separate law, while the NRC rules and procedures for the country are yet to be decided. And now, NRC, is the NRC specific to a region? No, the NRC will cover all regions and no one can be excluded from NRC. NRC is a process to register oneself at a, as a citizen. Now, how is the Indian citizenship decided? It is decided by birth, descent, regist registration, naturalization, and by incorporation. Another question, what are the details required for NRC? The government says that it is sufficient to provide details of birth and parents to prove citizenship. Though the government is yet to take decision on documents, the government sources say that documents are likely to include voter card, passport, uh, Adhar licenses, insurance papers, birth certificates, school certificates, documents related to home. 
Now the process is likely to incorporate more documents. Sources also say that uh, for pre-1971 genealogy document submission would not be required. For illiterate population community verification and witness that would suffice. Now even identity from welfare schemes would be used. NRC will not discriminate between transgender, atheists, adivasis, uh, dalits, women and landless without documents.